Well, I think this is going to make up for the previous run where it turned out to be shorter than expected because here's a long run. I think, I think I've only done one of these before and the reward is 12 deeds and 8 crests, which are both things I would like to get more of and a guaranteed roughly 10,000 gold before the rewards. Uh, bleeding pendant for the Hellion, not a big deal. I already have that and I only have one Hellion, so no, no reason to overstack on that. But anyway, let's plan out my party. So... Off the bat, Knackle and Serene are busy, so I can't do my big Mark buddy and make a mess with him. So probably want to send Kerbal in front to do high damage. This is the Wield. So this one has witches and stuff like that. It's not the ruins of the undead place, so I think we should be safe with Kerbal as far as uh, bleeding goes. Uh, ballot Boxer's low stress, so I can go ahead and send them in, uh, in as the back row healer. Lucas can make a mess. He's from the third. He's a third row person, right? Yeah. And our second row person is gonna be. Let's do boss monster this time. Why not? So first check. Does everyone is everyone equipped? Boss monster's not equipped. So check out Lord Verd real quick. Let's grab one of his scary items. Which one? Uh, that's a help. That's a defensive one. Offensive one. Let's go pure offense this time. That generally seems to reward me for doing so. Ballot boxer. That needs the item that Sozni is carrying around. I trade this cape off between them for bonus evasion to keep them alive. I believe Lucas is fully equipped with bleeding items. Yeah, so we're all set. So what I'm going to do is... Huh. Take a quick look at the blacksmith. Oops, that's the guild. Let's get out of here. If I need to, upgrade... Let's see, Kerbal has full weapon... Uh, boss monster has full weapon. Lucas, do you have high upgraded weapon? You don't. All right, we're gonna give Lucas one more damage, one more crit, and one more speed, and we're gonna be low on money now. So that may have been a mistake, but I already did it. So I guess I'm just gonna have to live with it, cause this is how we do. Can you tell I planned this shit out and know exactly what I'm doing? Cause I can't. Anyway, exterminate. Endless winding paths all arrive at the same place. The enemy. Bring war to the wield. Complete 100% of room battles. Alright, let's get busy. Probably gonna run completely out of money on this one, but we should make it back, because I don't really foresee us losing. And even if we do, I think the money we have midway through the run still comes with us. So, top priority. Get fucking set up with money. Iron food. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, no. Guess who's not gonna have any freaking idea what to do here. Okay. I'm gonna be running low on torches. And this, I pretty much did this to myself, so... Cause I, I wanna bring a shovel. Bare minimum, at least one shovel, cause there's gonna be... There's gotta be barriers, right? Is this gonna be a low light run? Is this gonna be a stressful, crazy low light run? It might have to be. What if, if I reduce my number of uh, f amount of food and risk starving, then I get keys. Is that worth doing? What do I do? I need at least one key, right? Probably do inter intervals of four of food. Give myself another torch. There we go. All right, I'm out of money, guys. That's this is scary, because I, I should not have upgraded with Lucas's weapon. That is too much money to spend all of a sudden. Anyway. Uh, we have one shovel, one key, and not as much food and, and uh, supplies as we'd like to have, but this is a powerful party, I think. Well, I mean, all my characters are pretty powerful at this point, so I think... I think we can make it work. We just might have a stress bill afterwards, but that's fine, because we gonna get paid. Corruption has soaked the soil. So what's our map Stopping look like? From these ah, of course we have a dead end right next to us. Evil. We have to do it, too, because if we don't do the dead end, if we don't immediately check this place out and it turns out to be a room battle, then we're screwed. And immediately there's a barrier in front of us. Lucas, what are you doing? Well, at least you're not taking it from us, you're just being weird. Alright, so, um, first place we went, used our first shovel. We're getting busy, alright. How we doing in here? Fight? Nope. Alright, that was a waste of time. We used a, <laughs> we used a shovel to go check out an empty room, and now there's a fight behind us. Hey guys. How you doing? Lighted giant. Alright, Holy Lance should be able to wipe out- oh wait, careful. I want to be able to use, uh, oh yeah, if it bleeds is the- is the, my powerful skill that doesn't cost me anything. It's a weaker- let's see. Roughly this- roughly the same damage with no- oh yeah. 
So bleed out does more damage and better bleed, but it can only target the front person. Okay, now, now I remember my, my situation, because I, I did swap it out for the purpose of not debuffing myself constantly. This time, though, I think I am going to want to debuff myself, because uh, wailing on this bl uh, blighted giant is going to be our best chance of not taking incoming damage. I'm going to go for a stun. We have a roughly 60% chance of success, and it worked. All right. Just start wailing on them now. I don't have anyone to heal, so I'm going to try to... Oh, I can only go after him? Whatever. Stack them stuns. It missed. <laughs> I was gonna go. I was gonna try to stun the back person if I could, but he's taking up too much space, unfortunately. Let's make a mess. Stacking that bleed, so they're gonna take five damage per round, which is pretty significant. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to start stacking that up. Try to play bleed to both of them if I can. We did. Back person taking two per round. Front person's taking seven per round. This guy's pretty much screwed. Let's just add to the fire. He's taking 12 per round, he has 20 hit points. One more hit and he'll be down, basically, so... I'll do the same AoE again. Oh, back person dodged it, but front person... Oh, 14 damage per round, he, Blighted Giant is now dead. The moment his turn, his turn starts, he's dead. So we don't have to worry about him anymore. So let's Holy Lance the back guy. Well, this, no this escalated quickly. You get, For that crit, you're, I'm gonna reward you with a, with a torch. Good job, guys. And people used to criticize my playstyle, said I wasn't good enough at this game. Well, look at what I'm doing now. Look how much shit I'm wrecking. And I've only lost one person ever. Freaking... A fr uh, Wanderbot did this game too, and he died. He lost several people, is what he said. I don't actually know, because I haven't watched a series, because I don't spoil things that I'm about to play. But he said he lost several people, and... I'm coming up on the end at this point, and still... Only lost... I don't want to touch this. Holy water, maybe? No. Let's just ignore this. this is, there's no reason to play with, tor with that corpse right there. What are we going to have? Of course we have it. Do you, do you have a bleed resist? You have high bleed resist, but not an infinite bleed resist. But we're probably not going to bother anyway. Holy Lance. Just wreck some shit. Ah, he's alive. Well, let's fix that. Or you could miss. Good job, Lucas. Lucas, I'm so proud of you. I've never been more proud of my life. Anyway, let's bleed some fool. Mostly the mostly damage though. Most, oh wow, the bleed applied. Okay. Wasn't really expecting that to work. What's her chance of does she have an increased chance of bleed? The wet the skill doesn't do any increased bleed, but she has 15% bonus there. I think I had like a 20% chance of success in it when it worked out for me. That's a bit of a surprise. Uh, I'm gonna go for uh, well, stun chance is high. Let's go self-heal. Just maintenance for the long term, because we, we, th we let things slip now and it builds up for later and becomes an actual problem. So let's just avoid that altogether. What is that? He's just smacking me. Oh, it's a stun. Okay. Oh, things are escalating a little bit here. Way to go, buddy. I'm gonna go for the AoE again, just because I'm trying to kill the back one on accident. While also hurting the front wall. Why, why is that not hitting? Why are you not making- I need to read that guy's percent chance of hitting, apparently. I just assumed it was going to work out, because he doesn't exactly have a history of missing. Does Lucas have rabies? <laughs> he might actually have rabies. I'm not sure. I joke, but he might, he might actually have rabies. A few characters have- Oh, he has rabies. Okay. He has hit- That means his hit chance is reduced, unfortunately. Uh, let's heal up. Oh, everyone's hurt now. We'll do the group heal. Because this is 8 to 1 person versus a group heal for... 12. Yep. More efficient use of healing. Everyone's getting so powerful and scary now. I'm, I'm really I'm still surprised that guy actually took a bleed. Alright, we're still taking damage across the board, so the AoE bleeds... AoE. What is your chance of hitting? You have a 75% chance of hitting, how are you missing so many times? Would you get self-conscious and decide not to miss anymore? <laughs> Alright, so that guy, the moment that guy's turn starts, he's dead. So we should focus on the back guy if we can reach him, which we can. He should bleed out. Yep, he's dead. Alright, so now it's just the waiting game. Both these guys die on the moment their turn starts. I'm gonna go ahead and self-heal. Because I'm taking damage a little too fast on this specific character. When specific characters are losing too many hit points, that becomes a higher value thing than AoE healing. And Dirk Stab. 
just for funsies. Let's rearrange the party again. There we go. Take all of our fine loot. Uh, I could try to use a key for an extra compartment, but I won't. Because we could find an actual locked chest later that'd be more valuable to check out anyway. We're scouting. Is this really a long run, though? It doesn't seem long to me. Oh well. We have treasure ahead. I might rest in this next room just to uh, grab some buffs really quick for the party. Since uh, we're, not doing, we're not doing half bad right now. You'll notice I'm not constantly keeping myself at high light just because I know for a fact we may be a little undersupplied on torches, so I'm letting I'm making them last a little bit. I, I think camping resets our torches too, so I think if I go camp, we may uh, rec that might it may make up for us not using torches for a bit too. Let's see, do single target bleed on the crone, wreck her shit. Yeah, she's not doing so great. Three damage per round. She has seven hit points. So if anything hurts her at this point, she should die next. Oh. Oh, weird. If it bleeds, doesn't hit the front person. Interesting. So many things I'm learning. I'm just going to ask you guys to stop moving for a moment. There we go. That was mostly to make sure the crone dies the moment her turn starts. Now we'll just Dirk stab the front guy. All right, fight over. There we go. Prodigious There's something elegant about this. The sharpened blade. I distinctly feel like I'm totally in tune with this game's combat system right now, which is weird because I haven't played it. Like I did the last couple up, I did the previous episode today, and ep the other episode before that I did like a couple days ago. But before that, I hadn't played. Before that, I hadn't played in weeks. Yet here I am. All right, is the treasure gonna have a fight or just treasure? It has a fight. Don't surprise us. Okay, we're fine. We're getting a stress bonus and crits. That doesn't help us, but I'm gonna rest in a second here, so I'm not gonna concern myself with the light too much. Uh, let's see. I'll do stunning. I'll do the holy lance to try to target the the crone. And dodged. I rearranged my party for nothing. All right. Uh, we'll go to divine grace because we need to hurt. Is it, yeah, divine grace to heal up Lucas because he's too low. Our tank characters are taking some chip damage, but they will be fine. AOE stun. It's super effective. Now, that'll reduce our incoming rabies, unless that does it. And rabies. Go figure. Still, rabies is damage. It's reduced accuracy, but it's also increased damage. Like, I, I don't know if I really want to reduce it. Uh, oh, that's why, I, that's why I removed it from uh, main G, because main G has terrible accuracy. So e even, even further reduced accuracy is kind of problematic. Let's do single target next. The AoE doesn't matter, because th this guy's going to die on his next turn, isn't he? Oh, it's only two damage per round. Shit, I'm, I miscalculated. Oh, but he was stunned, so now he'll die the moment his real turn starts. So yeah, that's taken care of. And Crone's bleeding out. We're pretty much taken care of now. Oh, that's adorable. You're going to mark me. Too bad no one's going to live long enough for it to matter. Whose turn is it? Okay. Smite the one that's actually going to be alive in a turn. And now he won't be. Alright, and they're both going to die from bleeding, right? Yeah, so this, this fight's over. But I'm gonna yawp anyway. Cause fuck all y'all. Get out of here. It's my porch now. Get off it. A trifling victory. Ooh, a key. I need but a victory nonetheless. That means I can open this up and still have a key left over afterwards. Awesome. And I ran out of inventory space. I should have rested first or something. Uh holy water, get out of here. There we go. And rest. A Camping trip number one. It's a goal without hope. Uh, I'll blow some food on a quick heal, I think. We're not doing too bad. Although I could go for not healing. No, let's, let's do a little bit of a heal. I don't think we need I don't think we need the minus 10 stress so much so far. I'd rather I'd rather avoid a situation where our characters are starving, so I'm not going to overeat now. Let's see. I give you bonus damage against large enemies, and we'll probably fight one, so let's go for that. You get stress resist. Uh, everyone gets heal and stress resist reduction. Might do that. Uh, one bonus. Get, one person gets accuracy. Bonus accuracy. We can give that to. Should I give it to Verd? Let's give it to Verd. Uh, pray. Oh, accuracy and dodge. All right. Give the accuracy and dodge to our Hellion. Now they both have bonus accuracy. Now we can just do some random reduced stress and stuff like that. Let's see. Stand tall. Oh no. Pep talk for the party. Nope. Oh right, I can't use zealous speech. I just I went off and went past it by one. All right, yeah, we'll just do some stress management here. 
There you go. So I made myself resistant to it and gave someone else a little pep talk, so now they're doing better. And I think when we... Sometimes we get ambushed when leaving the fire, but I think camping restores our torch to full, which is further conservation. I'm being overly conservative with my torches, though, because... Uh, I'm pretty sure we're about to... Uh, oh, no, they rearranged my healer. Too bad Lord Verd has a freaking charge. Joke's on you. Obliterated. You just made it so I can do that twice. Oh, wait, no, I can't. You don't have enough people for me to do it twice. What? My primary problem here is that my enemies are in inadequate. Go figure. Uh, and you guys don't get a turn, probably? Yep. All right, now there's a good chance you guys will die before ever getting a turn. Hey, buddy, look at me running up to the front. We're gonna have fun. Although I think I just made it so Lord, Lord I just made it so Lord Ver doesn't get a move. Whoops. Where, where does your bleed out work from? You can use bleed out from the back row. So I'll move forward with Lord Ver just in case, and our Hellion will still be able to do their move. We'll single target Verd because they're the lowest. Oops, that's that's my stun. Wow, eight. My heal. Oh yeah, it does do seven to eight. I forgot about the heal. I forgot that I upgraded it, so it's larger. Now. Oh, you fucker. Well, that backfired. All right. Well, I'm gonna make you pay. Enjoy, enjoy this nice, healthy bleed. You guys weren't supposed to get turns, but you rearranged my party in a bad way. I can do an adrenaline rush for like no reason. Ha! Uh, <laughs> I mean, the fight's probably over before I get to the front row anyway, so I'm just gonna bide my time in the background and waste my just waste it basically. Uh, Dirk stab front guy. He's gone. And other guy's bleeding, and Lord Verd's gonna finish him off right now. Bye. Victories mount. We're out of room for our money. Oh no. Alright, let's fix our party composition here. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Let's see here. Why can't I move with this character? There we go. Like wasn't moving for some reason. Uh what's worth let's see, nine hundred and seventy five, five hundred each, five hundred each, thousand each. Jade's worth shit. Do I have anything to trade, though, that's not Jade? Nope. I'm gonna get rid of our Jade. It's only worth 250. This money's immediately worth more. And so we continue. It's an extermination fight, so this could be a long episode, because we have to do every single room battle. Hey, oh look, more torches. All the, all the more evidence, I don't need to be conservative with them, but the fact that I camped got me bonus torch, too, so... We're doing pretty... We're going pretty smoothly so far. My main concern is that just how many times the game may or may not hit me with the uh, the ran the random proc for making us eat. Because if that happens, we could be in trouble. Hey guys, how's it going? You having a good time back there? I'm gonna stab you now. Oopsie. So yeah, more than twice that guy's hit points. Uh, who's next? Let's make a mess. Yep, I bet they're feeling good right about now. And I'll follow it with Yelp. The AoE stuns and bleeds just are such a debilitating thing at their offensive power because they're dying over time and on top of that, they're even, uh... I can't do the same perk people again. Ah, fuck it. Do it again anyway. Or miss. Whoops. Wait, does Battle Boxer have rabies too? I forget. <laughs> I can't keep track of all these rabies people anymore. But all the stunning and, blade and bleeding makes it hard for them to re really retaliate much. Because they're dying and they can't move. Although they're, de they're definitely proving me wrong a little bit here. They're definitely getting their turns in. Let's wreck some shit. You have, tw you have 11 hit points. Not for long. Bye. You feel faint? You'll be fine. We have a medic. You'll be... It's cool. Just start stacking them. Ow. Oh. See, this works better when you make contact with your attacks. See? Look, 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 look at Boss Monster. He's the person to listen to. Did I call him Lord Verdit earlier? I'm not sure. Uh, group heal. For the maintenance. You feeling alright, buddy? Oh, you're feeling alright. You're fine. See? Look at all the things you're gonna call. Oh, I just threw Kerbal out of attack range. Because they can use if it bleeds from the back, back rows, but they can't do it if the oh, there's only one enemy left. But... Having one enemy left is not much... Uh, if you're in that situation, a few hobbling issues aren't really a big deal, because, uh... At that point, uh... It's kind of just who cares, right? 
Like, what's one guy gonna do for the most part besides give you rabies in many cases? Many. Many cases. Citrine, you're not worth anything. Give me more money. There we go. And this Jade's just gonna have to stay out in the cold. The cold, the dark forest. I could probably throw in my camping supplies, but I might as well just use it later. They're just gonna keep throwing stuff at me. We're definitely getting back into the territory of what some people complain about in this game, is that... Kind of like, what's the point of doing a long run in this game? Because when you do a long run, they throw so many rewards at you that you can't even carry them all. Which means that you kind of don't get the rewards. Like, the whole point of a long run is like, oh, it's longer. That means it's harder to survive, more stress, bigger bills at the end, but you get rewarded with bigger rewards. But then if you can't carry the rewards, then it's like, you get rewarded with bigger rewards that you get to throw away and not actually get. That's exciting. He's still alive. I mean, not really. He's gonna die the moment his turn starts, but I'm just surprised he lasted this long. I was sure he was done with. How are you guys doing? Uh, single target the back guy. He's down. Back guy's down the moment his turn starts. Now we just need to finish off front guy with the smite. Alright, fight's over. This guy just doesn't know it yet. Is it his turn yet? Because that'd be pretty funny. It's not his turn next. Ah. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna self buff because attacking him would would reduce my uh, attacking him would reduce my own abilities, and if another fight happens soon enough, then that would hap that would make bad things happen to me. So I would rather avoid. This expedition Motherfucker! Success. What do I do with all this stuff? Seriously, game. What do I do with all this stuff? You're throwing so much stuff at me. I want those deeds. I'm not throwing those deeds away. Uh, I don't need food. <laughs> That's such a hazard. That is so dangerous what I just did. But I need I need the deeds. Those are like the reason I'm doing the run in the first place is for deeds. Take your tiny amount of money. Oh yeah. That's a three stack of onyx. Three stack of onyx means that I now have... Uh, Jesus. Yeah, I now have 500 gold each. That's, that's 1,500 stack. That's as much as his money is. And we're only this much in, so it's entirely possible that we will, uh... It's entirely possible... Ah, spiders. That stack of onyx could become more valuable than a stack of money could, assuming we get enough to warrant that. Single target the back guy. He's down. Devastating blow. Yeah, spiders are never really a threat. They never attack in, bigger, in big groups, which is the only way they'd be dangerous. Fuck it, I'll do an attack. Lulz. I did an attack with my mage. You got most da damage and accuracy. We don't get to see that ability ever. So, enjoy that, guys. And you're dead. I'm gonna go up top, explore, and then camp before I head back Remind down, basically, is my plan. More is deeds! What do I do with these? Can I throw away... Can I throw away the firewood? Should I throw away the firewood? I'm throwing away the firewood. Alright, we're not camping again. <laughs> we're fine. Don't touch that. Oh. Why, Kerbal? Also, Kerbal, I forgot you're in the back. I need to fix that. Oh, cool. That's a good sign. Deviant tastes. Ah, uh, you're not allowed to visit the brothel. That's fine. You didn't usually go there anyway. I'll find a way to cope and make weird burping noises into the microphone, apparently. So, throw away a torch. There we go. We have more torches than we started with, don't didn't we? Or, or maybe we... St yeah, I think we have been getting them faster than we've been using them. Let's go touch things. Yay! Sometimes a tree is just a tree. That's w Is that a phallic joke? We we're, we're, go we're going Freudian here. Oh, a camp. Oh, bad guys. Oh, four spiders. I guess they're trying to prove me wrong about when I said they don't attack in numbers. I'm still going to wreck their shit like this. Bye. On, fiend. So the problem with spiders is no matter what their abilities are, they're basically going to die in one hit. So who gives a flying fuck? Yep, they're both dead. Is that enough bleed to kill them? Oh, one of them's going to live slightly. I'll have to fix that. Target. Alright, now he's dead. They're both going to die the moment their turn start because of bleed. Now I just need to single target the front guy down with Kerbal when their turn shows up right now. Alright, fight over. <laughs> Alright. Party taken care of. There you go. That's adorable. They thought they could do things. These My god. Can be felled. They can be beaten. What do I do with all this money? Uh, oh god, what do I do with all this stuff? That's even more money and sapphire that's just worth a thousand right off the bat, although it could potentially not be worth that much because worth a thousand each isn't that great when 
if I only get one, it's actually worth less than a stack of money, potentially, and I've got so much money that it's actually piling up like crazy. And all the things I'm getting are deeds, which I want, and crests, which I want, because I still need crests and deeds to upgrade the blacksmith. Yeah, at this point, despite the fact that that's never been the case before, I would actually throw away a portrait if I got one. Just to throw more money at myself at this point, but... Oh, that's not what's happening. I'm a th do I throw away the key? Fuck it, we're throwing away torches. Blammo! Uh, do I take money or staff? Fuck it, we're taking both of them. Blammo! Money! What's in this thing? Let's touch it. There's a map of the area. Maybe- oh cool, the map of the area. I tr yeah, map of the area that doesn't fucking fill in the next room. <laughs> Some map that turned out to be. Uh, we'll eat. There we go. I'm just throwing away important supplies on a regular basis because I don't want to die. <laughs> I mean, because I don't want to throw away anything that it makes, makes, makes me money. This is going to be like some hobbit territory stuff. Alright, if you scout, I can just leave. They had neither of those are room battles, and I'm full on treasure, so they can fuck off. No more camping, so I have to watch my torch levels because those torches have to rest. Ra ra those torches have to last the rest of the run. But there's only four rooms left to explore. I'm gonna be very disappointed if that, uh. Oh god. Oh no, what if that chalice looking thing on the map turns out to count as a room battle? Those often have battles in them. Does that count? It's too late to get turned back now. We're just gonna have to see how it goes. Uh, sack of contents are mine, but can I carry them? I can. Still have a little bit of room left for, uh, money. And that torch will help me out for a little longer. Just use that right away. Oh, hey, buddies. How's it going? You guys have a nice party around here? Did you guys... You guys try You guys try the bar? One hit point. Because of course. <laughs> now, don't be rude. I'm trying to rearrange my party. I'll rearrange your face. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I don't feel bad for you? We're, yeah, we're, we're, wow, this, is, this doesn't happen very often. We're still topped off. No one's, uh... Everyone's topped off. No one's demoralized. Everything's just going great, aside from the occasional negative trait showing up that I've learned to live with for the most part. Oh, they're stacking some damage there. Oh, you missed. Lucas, why? That's fine. Boss monster don't miss. Now, whose turn is it next? The, it's probably the, the Vestral's turn next. If I'm lucky, I can just finish this guy off with a stun attack. Which I did. Alright, moving forward. More money I can't carry? Oh, cool. <sighs> what do I do with you? Money good. Uh, fuck it. Torches! Torches! The match is struck. A blazing star is born. <laughs> Bye, torches. <laughs> I just threw my torches away. So I have to do the rest of the run with my current supply of light. <laughs> I'm gonna... Oh, cool, a barrier. That's gonna make it... Oh, fuck, there's two... Oh, there's those... Neither of those are battle rooms. Fuck, if this chalice counts as a battle room, then that means the previous one probably counts as a battle room, and this barrier is gonna demoralize people and decrease my light supply. And I have no more torches with which to fix it. But I'm hoping that, uh... Fuck it, low light. That just means bigger rewards and bigger crits, right? They can't take me. We'll be fine. Famous last words. We're doomed. Everyone's going to die now. This is the end of everything. This is... This is where the part where Keith's greed gets his entire party killed and a bunch of people get mad at me because I named characters after them and they all died because I got greedy during a long run. No regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Bleed it out. You're dead. Or maybe not. If the monsters are going to continue to not threaten me, then... Nothing else can go wrong besides demoralization, but that's just expensive, not really a, a threat. Well, you've seen horrors already- wow. Wow, that did actually stack up fast. Oh well. I'll be able to afford the, the, the bill. Wow, look at all that money. The good news is we know both the rooms are empty, so... If this isn't- the, if this turns out to not be the last room battle, there's only one left. We'll have to deal with a lot of demoralization from low light, unfortunately, but I'll be able to deal with it, I'm sure. So, what's this guy's stun resist? Not very high. Let's try to stun him real quick. Just because he's the, high, the highest damage dealer in the party. And we'll start start bleeding him out. Alright, 18 damage and 5, de five damage per round. I'll try to follow that up with, with additional dots from uh, Lucas when his turn comes up right after this one person's turn. Lucas should be next, I think. 
Look at him bleeding all over the place like a nasty fool. Alright. Keep that trend going. Now he's up to 8 damage per round. And if we're lucky, I think... Kerbal's gonna get another turn before he does. Oh, wow, Lucas' turn again. Alright, keep it stacking. Is his hit point his hit point's 13, his bleed is 11. Damn it, he's still not low enough to die from bleeding. Whose turn is it next? If the Vestal gets a turn, I might try to damage him with a stun. No, I, I should heal. I should heal the party. Especially since this character can't really this character can't target people for the most part. Well, I can target the back guy. Do you have a speed reduction? You don't. Minus 60% damage, you're fine. Let's try to kill the crone. Success. And that puts me in the front. And all right, this guy's done. Bye. It's adorable. The bleed didn't even actually matter that much because I got so many direct hits. We're gonna go single heal target heals because a few people are close to max. Ballot boxer themselves is maxed, so that heal doesn't matter so much. Oh, it's a dodge. Messed up. It's really disappointing when you do a, an attack that rearranges your party and then the attack doesn't land because then you're like, oh, but I messed up my party composition just for that. Let's heal up Lucas. So he's taking some hits. Alright, all I can do now is just Adrenaline Rush. Just a turn waster so I don't lose. I don't want to lose morale by doing anything else. And the rearranging seems pointless because the fight's going to end before then, probably. Dirk Stab. Oh, why, Lucas? Why? You're making me feel silly. Oh, well. Now I feel especially silly for even concerning myself. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Wow. Paid all those things that blood. came out of that loot were all things I already had, so that even though my inventory is pretty full, they all fit into a slot somewhere. Let's check inside the tent. Oh cool, a map of the area that I don't need. So both of those rooms are empty. Good news. Bad news is those room battles are the uh, the things that look like go uh, goblets are room battles. They count. I was thinking swords and army looking icons as room battles, but those count too. So what I'm gonna do is as I approach the uh We're gonna run straight over to the room battle. It's gonna be low light, and we're just gonna deal with the consequences of that. I'm gonna throw away my food at the last second, or eat a, or eat all of it, and then we're just gonna do the last fight. Maybe get a, 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 a nasty uh, stress pill over the. Oh no, we're eating again. All right, there's not gonna be much food left in the first anyway. That's fine. This is gonna be a light problem. Hey, sp other spiders. Even if they oh they got surprised. Okay, didn't expect that. Oh, but we're missing. Oh wait, don't you have minus accuracy in low light? Oh, you have rabies. You always have minus accuracy. And you have bad stress when you're low health. Bad stress against humans. Speed. I need to fix some of these traits. I let them stack up a bit. Granted, the long as long as they're there, I don't think they can get replaced by anything else. Go for the stun. Because we don't really need healing that bad right now. So I'd rather just single target people down. Yep, they're not going to get any more moves now. And... Really, I can't do any... Oh, because I'm in second rank, so I can't do any attacks. I can yawp, though. That might kill it still. It did. I just yelled at that spider till it exploded. Where, how do I get that power in real life? Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Alright, let's use our food on Verd. I mean, boss monster real quick. And grab those crests. I'd rather grab that than throw it away. Alright, our entire... For the first time in this entire playthrough, 100% of our inventory is money and upgrade items. So we can't afford to take any more Jade with us. But who gives a shit, because Jade's the worst thing anyway. So, we, I just have to hope we don't get hungry in the next two rooms. Which would be bullshit if we do, because we got hungry like a room ago. But the game has been known to fuck with me, that's for sure. So we have two fights left. One as we go to the left at the, in the first place, and one as we enter the, uh, the room battle itself. So here comes one. Whole party is full health, so I'm not overly concerned. Or close enough to full health to, for it to not the distinction to not matter. Start throwing some stuns around if we can. Nailed it. All right. And they're throwing stress at us, and, we're, and we get bonus stress, so it's bad for us in this situation. Looks like we get plus 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 stress, plus plus monster accuracy and damage, and plus hero surpri surprise, but bonus to loot and player crits. Unfortunately, I mean crits are nice, so that that nice the nice bonus to crits is nice, but uh. Unfortunately, I would it'd be handy to have uh, the bonus loot's not really a big deal because we're pretty full up right now. Not a whole lot of use at the moment, but we do mostly one-shot people, so fuck them. 
Gonna party buff just because I don't feel like putting Lucas in front right now. Just because he's probably not gonna do 15 damage. So I'm just gonna buff up my party so that when they get their turn... Oh god. What's the benefit? Yeah, that's a lot of accuracy and crit and stuff. Alright, you're fucked. Get out of here. Silly boy. If I'm lucky, that crit will stay around into the next fight, which would be pretty badass. Finding the stuff is only the first Jesus test. Christ, I can't carry the stuff. Must be carried home. I can't carry the stuff. So now, now, the, now the question is, do I, do I value any... Now I need to figure out how I balance deeds versus money, basically. 1500, 1500, 1000, 1000, and then stacks of actual money. Uh, I might get more deeds, too. I can, de I can use deeds to upgrade, but, they're, but they do only upgrade one spot, the blacksmith. Although I do have like two more upgrades at the blacksmith, so it's probably handy. Though a thousand gold is like two abilities worth. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Uh, oh god. But gold happens all the time, no matter what. Where deeds are situational, I'll have to worry about it. I'm gonna throw away a sapphire for deeds. And I'll hopefully get three more deeds to finish off the stack. We can't take the money with us. Sapphire and Ruby were the least valuable stacks at this moment. Because they're only 1,000 each, and they're less... Motherfucker! Well... There's the other Sapphire, as if to taunt me. Hey look, if you hadn't thrown away that other Sapphire, you'd have a 2,000 stack right now of Sapphires. But no, no we don't. At least they finished, they immediately fulfilled... No. The darkness holds dominion. At least they fulfilled my hope of getting the extra... Deed, and, and Lucas's buff has not worn off yet. It might still persist in the next encounter if we're lucky. So we have plus four stress, plus three monster attack accuracy damage. This is bat black as pitch, but I don't think I've ever let it get down to this dark before. We're probably gonna get, get surprised when we enter this fight. But at least we get bonus loot <laughs> that I can't carry. All right, so how bad are you gonna rearrange my party? Oh, they're surprised still? Wow, okay, well, let's make a mess then. Uh. Let's do the AoE crit. Nope. I was thinking of doing the AoE buff, but I thought that if I did the AoE bleed, we'd get more luck with the fight. Uh, it might be a good idea to, do, idea to do the accuracy thing. Anyway, no one needs heals right now, and there's no after this. There is no such thing as after this fight, so let's just start stunning fools. Oh wow! Did we just gain light? Oh yeah, that attack gives us a little bit of light, so we're no longer in that in that situation anymore. I like that the lighting changes too, it's a nice little touch. Start smiting some fools. Less effective than I was hoping. That's okay. Bleed the last guy. There we go, that one's down. Lucas will hopefully be able to finish the middle one and damage the other one with an AoE. Oh wow, yeah. So much for the last fight being potentially dangerous in low light conditions. We're pretty much set here. At, I, at this point I feel like I'm, I might even be... It might not be that big of a deal for me to take on the bosses at this point, it's just I need to actually unlock them through progression. Which means my characters will only be more scary. But damn, them bosses scary. Like, as as tough as I feel right now against all these guys, every single boss, it just... Their stats are through the roof usually and it becomes genuinely problematic. I'm glad that our stress is more or less resolved. Lucas might need to get a little recovery, but aside from that, we're pretty much set. All right, final battle uh, done with. If Rep only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Oh, that stuff I can't carry. All right, well at least we at least we got another ruby, so I don't feel so bad about throwing away the sapphire now because the ruby also got a second one. So really, I should have thrown away like the emeralds, but I can't I can't tell the future. No one can. So now, question is, do I value three deeds or a stack of fifteen hundred more? I think I'll I think I'll stick with the money. I think I'd, I'd rather keep the three the fifteen hundred stack than three deeds. I think so. We're we're out of here. All right, successful run. We've never been more rich than we are right now. I don't think not from one run anyway. One that must be fought. So that's uh oh my god, a lot of money. Twenty four thousand gold from one run, and however the fuck many this is gonna be. Probably too many, I'm gonna say. Wow. Look at them numbers grow. Look at them numbers grow. <laughs> okay, so I got 38 crests and 36 uh, deeds. And this dumb Hellion pendant that I already have. Oh well. I'll take 24,000 gold and 
oh, man, about 70 uh, upgrade items from one run. No one's level 5 yet. I've been pretty balanced about this so far, I guess. And reduced disease resist from uh, Lucas. Ooh. Ranged crit on boss monster. I don't think they have ranged attacks, though. And wield explorer. Awesome. These are mostly good things. I might say. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A Let's see. Chaos. So we got we got rid of Knackle's yips, thankfully. Serene has recovered stress. Still have those three bosses to go in this in this particular build of the game. And Sozni and Kerbal are both about their level five. Uh, I think my current plan is I'm going to keep I'm gonna I'm gonna try to finish upgrading at the guild and blacksmith. And then uh, my at that point my non-stress costs are gonna be mostly dedicated to the sanitarium. There's a lot of minor traits I've just been living with for the longest time, but if I have a lot of extra money just sitting around, I'm just gonna blow it there, I might as well. Let's see, so we already ma maxed out the gills, so let's just work on this blacksmith. Alright, furnace cost 10% again. There it goes. And the flames, mold the metal. We are raising an army. So in two, consecu in, in two consecutive episodes, I believe, we just maxed out the blacksmith and the guild, so... Primary places of sp spending deeds and portraits that was... A big deal are, is gone, so let's... And sanitarium requires the the bus, right? Yeah, you need bus there, which I haven't maxed out necessarily because I kept... I also spent bus here at the uh, Abbey. But now, I believe the only place in the entire game to spend portraits is this tavern, so I'm going to be upgrading the crap out of that. Do a quick review, though. Nomad Wagon. That's all crests. That's one of the places where I was blowing crests, which I regretted later. Just finished the blacksmith. I didn't mean to click on that. Uh, stagecoach, haven't looked at you for a while. I'm holding off on stagecoach and Oh, that's where deeds get spent. Okay. I've been holding off on the stagecoach. Uh, I'm gonna... Because these are recruitment stuff, and see... I'm, uh, let's see, this is 13 roster. So I can increase my roster by 6 additional slots if I upgrade the stagecoach. And I can get a better selection of characters by upgrading the network. Thing is, though, this game's still in early access, and two more dungeons have to be unlocked. And I think... I Darkest Dungeon, I don't think is the case necessarily, but when the cove gets added, it's probably going to be level 1. And I'm probably going to have to level it up and fight bosses. And I can probably only fight those bosses if I have a low-level crew that's will willing to go on those boss missions. So, as a fallback plan, I'm not, not going to upgrade the stagecoach until the next content comes out so that I can then recruit a new crew of like six people, name those after a few other people, and take them around. And then those people will go do the, the what, what is practically DLC content, basically. And then we'll, they'll join the fold of the regular adventurers if they so catch up. I think Survivalist is also just Cress. Yeah. So yeah, the only place to spend portraits in all of town is the tavern. Let's get upgrading here. I can just make the bar even better, potentially. Why not? Fuck With it. enough ale, maybe they can be inured against the horrors below. So now the bar is the most effective and cheapest that it can possibly be. Can't get the third slot yet. I need to get 13 crests and 7 portraits. Wow, I'm at 0 crests. That's never happened before. I'm okay with it, though. So, we are loaded right now. So, let's go to the Senate. Let's see here. Boss monster, I just took you on the run, right? Melee, melee, melee... I guess Zealous Accusations ranged. That's it, though? Yeah, you can, you can go ahead and live with your skill that makes you slightly shittier at ranged attacks, because you don't even use ranged attacks. So, let's go invest in upgrades, then. Alright, boss monster, you get plate arm- I mean, you get Zealous Conviction armor. That's uh, Serene. I mean, Kerbal. You get the Wolf's Pelt. That's- I, I forgot to read the last one, my bad. This one gets you 5 dodge, 4 health. Uh, Lord Verd. You get 5 dodge, five, 6, 7 health. Wow, okay. So much money to spend here that I feel- I have no concerns here. Uh, bronze chest plate, Mangy is gonna get 5 dodge and 7 health. And then 1 damage, 1 crit, and 1 speed. These are all good things. Let's increase the dodge of our healers. So our healers are, are both gonna gain 5 hit po uh, five dodge and 5 hit points. Making them that bit, little bit harder to kill. There we go. I'll probably start upgrading their weapons at some point just to increase their accuracy and speed. 
the speed itself is handy. It's just I've I've avoided it because I've just wanted to upgrade the weapons of my actual attackers. But now a lot of these characters are maxed out. Serene, let's upgrade your armor. You have five dodge, five health. I might have upgraded someone else on accident and called them Serene. I, I might have gotten a little mixed up. Lucas, you're next in line. Jesus Christ, I'm I'm so rich right now. Uh, Lucas gets five dodge, four health, maxed out there. So many characters have completely maxed out equipment now. Knackle, you get your increased armor. Five dodge, four health. There you go. Look at that, I still have 12,000 gold. Fuck it. Thamurd, you get maxed out armor. Uh, five dodge, four health. I don't know why I shut down for a moment there. Five dodge, four health again. All right, Dark Inquisition armor. Good for you. Does everyone have five... Does everyone have level 5 armor right now? They do. Now it just comes down to who I want to upgrade the weapons of. So, Sozni is one. Ballad Boxer is one. The Murd is one. Gonna hold off on that. The only people with uh, level 1 weapons now are the people who don't use weapons as much. Gonna avoid that for now because I can still use the guild. Because, dear, dear lord, we're loaded. Alright, yeah. Let's make Lucas's skills better. So, you're getting gonna, you're gonna get a uh, little accuracy. One crit. Another bleed per, per round on that skill. That's the single target one. AoE skill is going to get more accuracy and crit. Battle Ballad's going to go up to being three speed, six accuracy, six accuracy, six, accuracy, six accuracy, and five crit. All around badass here. Who 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 else has skills to buy? I, I can't even keep track of this if I'm upgrading everybody so fast. Fuck it. You get upgrades. How you doing, Kerbal? You're already upgraded. So is me. I already upgraded my healers. Healing abilities. Upgrade your stun, why not? I use the stun on these characters. Let's make sure it's maxed out for best accuracy. Uh, we're getting closer to 5,000 now, so I think I might stop here. Boss monster, do you need to upgrade? Let's upgrade smite at the very least, and lance. How about verd? Are your smite and lance upgraded? They are. Alright, I'll hold off now. We're close to maxing out practically everything on these characters, but... I'm not gonna go too low because if I do it, if I have to do another long run, I won't have the money for it. So thanks for watching, guys. Like always, that was definitely a longer episode than last time, although a bit shorter than I was expecting to. Still for a long run. Thanks for watching, like always. I'll see you next time. We're getting, we're on the road to the finale or the early access finale until they add the, the extra content later. See you later.